Out again now for the seventh at Hastings, the 56th running of the British Columbia Oaks. Whoop it up, goes in. Killarney laughs. Twirling Devon. Sunburst Gate 8. Summerlin to the outside. Two left to load Amazonian and Northern Gray Star. They're at the post. There they go. Field at nine, three-year-old Philly sent on the way in the British Columbia Oaks. Killarney last, Northern Grace are by for the early lead. I'm even, I'm leaving down towards the inside. Butterscotch Blend is right there in the mix. Summerland is up on the outside. Two and a half lakes back is Twirling Devon. Sunburst on the outside. Amazonian, early trailer, whoop it up. They're midway on the turn now and from the inside, I'm even. I'm leaving with a short lead. Northern Grace are in second. On the outside is Summerlin third, followed by Killarney Lass in fourth. Two and a half lengths back is Butterscotch Blend, then Twirling Devon, Sunburst, Amazonian, and the trailer whoop it up. Under the line, the opening quarter, 23 and two. And it's I'm even, I'm leaving with a short lead. Northern Grey Stars up on the outside. Killarney Lass saving ground down towards the inside. Summerlin is fourth, only two off the lead. Gap of three and a half to Butterscotch Blend, Twirling Devon, Sunburst yet to get underway, under in hand though, then another four back to Amazonian, and whoop it up, the half went in 47 and two, midway on the back stretch, three for longs to run, I'm even, I'm leaving, leads it by a half, it is Northern Grace are in second, Summerlin third, there goes Sunburst up on the outside, then Twirling Devon, Killarney Lass, Amazonian, then it's back to whoop it up and butterscotch blend. Midway on the turn, six furlongs, 112 and four. I'm even, I'm leaving with the lead. Sunburst has now shifted to the outside and now swings out for the drive. Northern Star, Amazonian deep on the track and down the lane they come. It is Sunburst with the lead. Here's Amazonian up on the outside. Amazonian sweeps on by and Amazonian will win it. Sunburst will be second, very close for third. Far outside, whoop it up. On the inside, I'm even, I'm leaving. On the board, the unofficial winner for race seven, number one, Amazonian. Number eight, Sunburst is second. There is a photo for third. Please hold all tickets. One eight and a photo. In the photo for third, and number five, whoop it up is third. And number two, I'm even, I'm leaving fourth. One, eight, five, two, unofficial.
In the winner's enclosure, the winner of race seven, the 56th running of the British Columbia Oaks. This is number one, Amazonian. She's owned by North American Thoroughbred Horse Company, trained by Glenn Todd. And the winning rider, Richard Hamill. Amazonian, a three-year-old filly by Malibu Moon out of Fly the Flag. Bred in Kentucky by Three Chimneys Farm, LLC, and the Bessaloo Stables. Please welcome to the winner's enclosure to decorate the winner, Vancouver City Councilors, Melissa DiGenova and Lisa Dominato. The 1-8 exacta was 83.90. Pick five, we have no winners. The carryover is $1,378 the next Saturday. $2 try, 185, 3,364.40. 20 cent super, 185, 2906, 45. And the pick three, you need three of three, five hundred fifty dollars seventy cents. Final running time for the mile and an eighth, one fifty-three and ten one hundredths. No changes in the eighth, the seventy-fourth running of the British Columbia Derby. Thirty-six minutes to post time at four thirty-five. Let's go down to the winners' enclosure for a post-race interview. Let's go down to Drew Forster. Thank you, Dan. There we go. Thank you, Dan. Down here with the winning connections of Amazonian. Owner, trainer, Glenn, Todd, Richard, I'll start with you. Your third Oaks in a row. As I can see by the uh, look at you, you were ways back there. They were setting a good pace in front of you. Take me through the trip. Uh, yeah, we uh, decided in the paddock. Glenn said that uh, they're really not doing the pace today, so we'll take this filly right back, send the other one. We said, okay, it worked out really well. And, and obviously when you asked her, you had, she had a big move. She did, she was huge. I breezed her the other morning and I just basically got the feel of her. She's got a really long stride and a nice, even, com comfortable way of going. So I just started taking, picking her up, and she grabbed it, and away we went. The way you went is right. I'll let you get back to the jocks room. Good luck in the next. Glenn, this is a, a, a nice filly you bought at Keeneland. She's only ran six times. She's never missed the board. Uh, second last time in the Hong Kong Jockey Club. How did you feel about your chances with her uh, coming into today? Well, uh, this is a tough race. I thought this was the toughest race in the card by far. I, you know, I, I thought we would be uh, five to one if the other horses weren't in there. So I wasn't that confident. But uh, the way the track was playing, I said, Mario, you go. Richard, you go back to last and take one run, and it worked out really good for us. Thank both of them. Mario too. He knocked off the speed. Yeah, it worked out perfectly. And uh, now uh, I would guess next for her, you're going to the ballerina. For sure. Excellent. Congratulations, owner trainer Glenn Todd, Richard Hamill, Amazonian, takes a 2019 BC Oaks.
And once again, the horse is loading in for the eight. Explode the first one up. Followed by Stay Fantastic. Call it a wrap. Final Jeopardy. Flat out winner. All good. Five star general and whiskey bound. Whiskey bound goes in. They're at the post. There they go. Field of eight three-year-olds sent on their way by starter Charlie McDonald. And as they sort themselves out, Explode is put on the early lead. Five-star general Gutierrez takes a nice hold, sits in second. Whiskey bound is third. Stay fantastic. Fourth up on the outside. Flat out winner. All good. Call it a wrap. Early trailer is final jeopardy. They're on the turn and Explode has the lead. Five-star general pressing up on the outside. It is flat out winner, a comfortable third. Whiskey bound in fourth. At the rail, call it a wrap. Stay fantastic. All good. Final jeopardy is the trailer. He has about eight and a half or nine to make up. The opening quarter, just 24 and three. A tepid fraction. And now five-star general has the lead by two. Gutierrez trying to slow him down. Explode is now chasing in second. Call it a wrap is third. Flat out winners on the outside of Whiskey Bound. Followed by All Good. Stay fantastic. And final jeopardy is the trailer. The run for the back stretch. The half. Just 49 and one. And five star general by a neck. Explode is now pressing up again on the outside. Flat out winner and call it a wrap together. Followed by All Good. Whiskey Bounds under a ride. Then final jeopardy. The trailer. Stay fantastic. They've reached the far turn and a quarter to home. Six furlongs at 114 and one. And it is five star general from the rail by a head. Explode second now by five. Final jeopardy is making up ground. Call it a wrap and all good. Eighth of a mile from home and the 74th running of the Derby. On the inside, five star general. On the outside, it's explode in deep stretch. Five star general explode on the outside. They hit the wire. Five star general to win it. Explode will be second. Final jeopardy third. Call it a wrap. All good. Whiskey bound. Stay fantastic. And flat out winner. Photo sign will be posted. The photo sign is on the board. Please hold all tickets. In the photo number eight, five star general, the unofficial winner. Number two, explode second. Number six, final jeopardy third. And number five, call it a wrap was fourth. Eight, two, six, five, unofficial.
am over here on the far turn with winning rider Mario Gutierrez. This race went all your way. How comfortable was he out on the front? He was comfortable. He was a little bit more tough than I wanted to, than I wanted him to be, you know. So I was just pretty much, you know, trying to manage a little bit uh, of his energy for the end, and, and thank goodness it worked out for us. And it worked out indeed. It was a great battle. Now this is your very first BC Derby. How important is it to get this win for Glenn Todd, who started you out way back when? You know what? I, it's like I, I, I can't even tell you. I had to, I had to ask the uh, outrider to give her a hug because I got, was getting emotional. But it means a lot to me. You know, I'm. I think I'm very, very lucky in life. You know, I, one of the things I always told myself when I was little, I'll never forget where I come from. You know, I know I'm from here. To me, this is home, and I mean, to win for Glenn and people that helped me along the way, it just means a lot. Well, that's awesome. Congratulations, and go enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. The result has now been declared official. Entering the winner's enclosure, the winner of race eight, the 74th running of the British Columbia Derby, grade three event. This is number eight, five-star general. He's owned by North American Thoroughbred Horse Company, is trained by Glenn Todd. And the winning rider, Mario Gutierrez. Five-star general is a three-year-old colt by distorted humor at a party of interest. Right in Kentucky by the Windstar Farm, LLC. Please welcome to the winner's enclosure to decorate the winner, Mr. Shane Simpson, Minister of Social Development and Poverty Reduction, MLA, Vancouver Hastings. Also, Mr. Peter Fry and Mr. Michael Weeb, Vancouver City Councilor. A2 exact, it was 1740. The A26 try, 3190. More to come. There's your winner of the 74th running of the BC Derby, five-star general. Eight two six five twenty cent super was twenty-two dollars sixty-one cents. Final running time for the mile and an eighth, one fifty-two and forty-three one hundred. In the ninth, number two, slews the boss, four over. Number three, not yet, four over. Number four, pitch count, two over. Number five, R.W. Stanley, seven over. Post time for the ninth, 19 minutes away at 5.10. Let's go down outside the winner's enclosure. Post-race celebrations. We'll turn it over to Drew Forrester. Thank you, Dan. Down with the winning connections, owner-trainer Glenn Todd. 
winning jockey Mario Gutierrez, uh, two-time Kentucky Derby winner. This is where you started your career. How special it's come back and win the BC Derby? Oh, it's, it's very, very special to me. I, I, like I say earlier in the interview, I, I'll never forget where I come from. You know, this is uh, the place I got my start. So uh, every single chance I, uh, I'm coming back uh, to ride, I, I take, I take it, and I'm here and to win it for Glenn. It took us a while. I couldn't do it when I was here, but thank goodness uh, it, it, we, we got there today. And uh, to go through the race a little bit, he broke very well, and it was basically just you and Amadeo uh, the whole way. When you came by the first time, I saw you really trying to gear him down. Amadeo kind of engaged you on Explode around the uh, far, down the backside. It was just kind of you two the whole way. It was a great race, and uh, you did get the better of it. Yeah, you know what? I mean, he got a little bit more tough than I wanted him to be, you know, but that's, that's, that's the type of horse he is. He's a fighter, you know, so basically I just had it, got to, like, you know, uh, control his energy because he wants to do uh, so much so early in the race. So, uh, thank goodness he listened to me a little bit and, and uh, we managed to, to get the, the hit uh, in the end. Great ride, Mario. I'll let you get back to the jocks room. Congratulations. <laughs> Winning trainer, owner, uh, Glenn Todd. We talked uh, this morning about the Mario factor. Do you think that had anything to do with it? Are you kidding? <laughs> Mario won the race. Don't take any away from the Nielsen horse. It ran terrific too. That's a good horse. And it was a great horse race. It was. They were toe to toe for for more than a half a mile. Actually, the whole way. It was a great race. I was just lucky to win, and probably Mario made the difference. Yeah, he sure did. Uh, what a ride by Mario. Uh, this is a horse he bought at a uh, horses racing age sale this summer. What did you see about him that you liked? I liked the way he looked, right? And he was a stakes winner too. He won on the grass. He ran in the mud. He ran in the mud. He ran on the fast track. I said that's the one to get. Shelly went, and all she had to do was put her hand up. And I actually thought we paid a little bit more than we did, but uh, we almost got our money back today, so I'm pretty happy. Thank you, Peter. It worked out well. And uh, your second uh, derby. Congratulations, Glenn Todd. Of course, Mario Gutierrez, five-star general, takes the 2019 BC Derby. The horses have reached the starting gate. Holding in before the ninth, the SW Randall Plate. He's the reason has been loaded. Not yet in the yellow. Calgary Caper to the outside. Pitch count. Last of nine will be R.W. Stanley. They're at the post. There they go. Field of nine, older runners sent on the way in the S.W. Randall Plate. And Brave Nation from the rail sent right on the early lead. He's the reason, moves up on the outside. Pitch count gets away in third. Followed by Appalachee Bay in fourth. R.W. Stanley is fifth. On the outside, it's more power to him. Gap of two and a half now back to Slews the boss. Then two and a half for the back is not yet. As expected, the early trailer is Calgary Caper. Opening quarter in 23 and two. As they race by us now for the first time, he's the reason. Hamill takes a peek, has no challengers, and leads it by three. Appalachee Bay is on the outside of pitch count. Down at the rail is Brave Nation. R.W. Stanley is two and a half for the back, followed by more power to him. Then a big break is six to Slews the boss. Calgary Capers picking his way between runners and not yet at the rail. Into the clubhouse turn they go. The half up, 47 and three. As they run past the half mile mark, he's the reason. Lopes along now with a two and a half length lead. Pitch count second by a nose. Appalachee Bay's on his outside. Brave Nation at the rail. Then it's R.W. Stanley, more power to him. Big break of six to Calgary Keeper. 
Slews the boss, and not yet. Past the 5 6 deeps marker they go. Six furlongs, went in one twelve and three. He's the reason now by two and a half. It's Brave Nation in second. More power to him. Asked for run by Orozco on the outside. R.W. Stanley, Calgary Keeper is making up some ground at the rail. As they turn for home, he's the reason leads it by three. And down the lane they come. He's the reason as well in the clear. Brave Nation, R.W. Stanley, more power to him. He's the reason wins the S.W. Randall Plate. It'll be Brave Nation second, R.W. Stanley third. More power to him, fourth. Calgary Capers lose the boss, not yet Appalachie Bay, and pitch count. On the board, Dennis Fisher, winner of race nine, number seven, he's the reason. Number one, Brave Nation, second. Number five, R.W. Stanley, third. Number eight, more power to him, fourth. Seven, one, five, eight, on the board. Into the winner's enclosure, the winner of race nine, the S.W. Randall Plate. This is number seven. He's the reason. He's owned by North American Thoroughbred Horse Company, trained by Glenn Todd, and aboard for his third winning ride today, Richard Hamill. He's the reason, a four-year-old gelding by the factor out of Sandra's Rose, bred in Kentucky by Stone Street Thoroughbred Holdings, LLC. Please welcome to the winner's enclosure to decorate the winner, Mr. Bill Randall, Sr. The result has been declared official. 7 1 exacto was 42.80. 7 1 5, $2 try, 560, 280. 20 cent super, 7 1 5, 8, 308, 46. Final running time for the mile and an eight, 151, 78, 100. In the 10th, scratch the one, don't tell Judy, scratch the six, expensive taste. 
Post time sitting at 22 minutes away at 540. Let's go down just outside the winner's enclosure for a post-race interview for the winning connections. Let's go down to Drew Forster. Thank you, Dad. Down here with uh, winning owner-trainer Glenn Todd, rider Richard Hamill, uh, your second stake win today, both for uh, Glenn Todd. You know this horse well. You were on him in the spring. You've rode him all year. He's just got a really high cruising speed. The first quarter is 23-2. and two. It looks like you got him slowed down a little bit in the second quarter, 47-3. and three. Yeah, it was nice to have him by himself today. No pressure with another horse beside him. He's a lot of calming, talking down, basically pulling and talking down. And, and that's it. I mean, and then when they come to him, then they didn't get a chance to today, but he really kicks it in again. But he knows where to start running again now, so that's a real good thing. He is maturing nicely, and uh, as you say, when you asked, there seem to be plenty left in the tank. Yeah, he just keeps that stride, carrying it longer and longer. So it's, he's an amazing horse. He's getting better. Better. Congratulations, Rich. I'll let you get back to the jocks room. Glenn Todd, uh, we talked earlier this week, you've had horses for almost 50 years. Is this your best day? Yep, this is the best one. This was as good as the win in the Langer's Mile when you win two uh, big races. I don't, Darren said nobody's won the Oaks and the Derby in the same day before, and uh, this was sort of a treat to get three, and uh, it's a great day for me and my family and my help. I got great people that work for me, and they deserve 90% of the credit here. And, of course, I've had good riders all day, too, and good clean trips. Makes a big difference. Yes, it sure does. And it looks like now uh, you will have two in the premiers. Yeah, I would think we might. The Colt actually ran quite a bit quicker than this, so that was a good horse race. There won't be that, – that horse race is as good a derby as they'll ever see here in the next 10 years for sure. That was a great horse race. Win or lose, it was a great race. I agree. That's the best derby I've seen, and another impressive performance by He's the Reason. Congratulations to Glenn Todd, Richard Hamill. He's the Reason takes the 2019 SW Randall Plate.